Is Sorcery considered realm losing momentum? Well, judging from the market movements, that might be a very plausible conclusion to draw, but it might also just be the calm before the storm that is better. Or are we seeing the effect of people moving away from looking at value and just going straight into the gameplay? Let's find out. So on screen we have collected some of the data points for you so you can see some of the market movements in the source we contested realm. And as you can see, for both cases, boxes, pre-counts and pledge packs, the prices have come down quite a bit in just one month. So all the sealed products have cooled off a little bit and this might have a lot of explanations. One explanation could be that people have simply collected what they wanted to collect and are now just waiting for better to actually be released. No matter what the explanation, the evidence is there and prices have cooled down quite a bit. The prices we are showing you are the price comparison from a month ago in August, beginning of August, and until now, which is the beginning of September. As you can see here, when we look at some of the most expensive single cars, the mixes, the cores, and of course, the Philosopher's Stone, prices have also come down considerably. It looks like we still have a pretty high foil multiplicator, so the value is definitely more in tune with the value last month if you look at the full cards but especially the non full cards are taking quite a hit and not just of the cards that we're showing you on the screen but also a lot of the uniques are down to around 20 US dollars. So one of the things that could explain this is of course the fact that the collectors are actually done. They have collected maybe one maybe several non full or even full sets and they don't need a lot of the high value cards anymore. One fact that might support this is that Louis for Kitchen Table TCG he reported in one of his box openings that a lot of the purchases he's seeing on his Sorcery Contested Realm single site is actually for the play sets and for cards for filling out decks. Collectors are definitely done collecting Sorcery at the moment. Of course they're coming back, but at the moment they have what they need from the Alpha Edition. And a lot of the players are also hesitant to use their Alpha cards because they've become increasingly expensive and therefore the alpha cards might not be the game pieces that you need to sling across the table and risk damaging them. So a lot of players are holding back and waiting for better. And with better we've just seen that Sorcery have gone together with Cardi IO and Cardi IO is a software that's going to make it much easier to see registered play holding tournaments and also having a reward system for players. Sorcery is still a company focused on player friendly gaming and just having a really casual environment. But the Cardi IO is making it much easier for LGSs to host events and just drawing people into the store to have organized play. Another thing that came from the announcement between Cardi and also Sorcery Contested Realm was the fact that they're going to try and integrate as seamlessly as possible Curiosa.io together with Cardi.io so that we have all the functionality that we know from Curiosa like the content feed, the deck building tools, all these things just integrated into the interface that the stores can also use when hosting events. This might also be exactly why we haven't seen anything about the Dust rewards yet because I believe that the reason why they're not saying anything is they don't want to make the entire system and lock everybody's dust into their own system and then announce rewards and then have to migrate it from Curiosa over to Cardi IO's own software. So presumably as soon as they are fully ready to launch this in November together with the release date of beta, we're going to see what things you can actually exchange your dust for. So all in all, even though the markets are quiet right now, we're seeing a lot of energy being used from the team to make sure that when beta hits stores, they are ready for gameplay, they are ready to expand and really welcome everybody in to the community in a super organized and fun way. So I for one am really looking forward to it. If you weren't lucky enough to get your hands on some of the pre-cons, you can just go on the sorcerytcg.com webpage and simply play all the pre-con decks after you have printed them. You can just cut it out and glue it onto some old land you have lying around. And then you are just ready to play. If you want to try something with a little less cardboard, you can also go full on digital with Tabletop Simulator, where you can add on the Sorcery add-on and then you're ready to play Sorcery. You can play the pre-con decks right out of the box. They are already ready there. And you can also play all the decks available on Curiosa.io because you simply type in the URL and paste it into Tabletop Simulator and whoop, you have the deck ready to play. 
So there's no excuse for not honing your skills in sorcery and being ready for better. If you're going to play Tabletop Simulator, you're going to need to find someone to play against. So down below in the description, we have listed a lot of different Discord groups where you can find someone to play with so you can get started entering the realm right now. And we're also linking to a few channels where you can see more about how to play the draft experience and you can also just find a rule book on how to play on the Sorcery TCT website. Thank you so much for watching this time and we need to give an extra special thank you to all our YouTube channel members. Your support means the world to us and we really appreciate each and every one of you.